Hi everybody. I'm going to show you how to mount a large picture, picture like this. This is a landscape I did on the subject uh, of a coast uh, scene in Southern California. Along the San Diego to Los Angeles uh, coastal uh, drive, you can see the mountain hills and uh, the valleys and uh, beach, uh, even the balloons in the sky I did based on a uh, trip to San Diego. And you can see it's a horizontal strip with uh, 40, or uh, actually 58 inches wide. It's very suitable for hanging on uh, above sofa. You can see the picture behind me. <clears throat> the technique I, I used on this picture including blotting and the ring code. Um, I, you can see from other YouTube videos I made in my channel to how to get this texture. But the problem is with uh, those techniques, the picture, the paper are not um, flat. So we need to flatten it with mounting process before we f do framing. But traditionally, um, we, when we use wet mounting, you cannot hold this kind of picture because it's very fragile when it's wet. Um, to post on the drawing board like we did uh, last time with the small size pictures. So with this, you either need help or um, risk the, you know, to break it when it's wet. Fortunately, we now have an excellent um, alternative to wet mounting. It's called dry mounting. We use a backing paper called silicone paper. It's a, f a silicone film uh, with a paper and it, with, with that, we don't risk any um, thing to break it. You, you can see later. But first, we need to cut this uh, backing paper into the size. By the way, if you use a um, trend backing paper or rice paper backing paper, you cannot get a backing paper in this size because this is the maximum length of a piece of you know, rice paper you can get in the market. So all you can do is you have to put the pieces together to have seam, you know, connect two pieces. But with this silicone paper, we can you know, get as long as many yards, no matter how long your uh, painting will be. So we need only one piece of backing paper without uh, the seam. So I'm going to first to cut this and then come back. Now I have cut the backing paper to the size of the painting. You could and have a, a little bit smaller uh, with my experience to avoid some uh, trouble you will see. Um, but um, if it's bigger, that's okay. As long as you use a um, extra piece of paper or covering paper. This silicone paper um, has the film released. So it's, it's only paper, not without the silicone film. Another tool we're going to use is this uh, bottle of uh, water uh, spray, uh, water spray. So um, before we start mounting, we need to spray a little moisture to dampen the picture to let the uh, wrinkle spread for easy um, ironing with the iron. Um, we can do section by section. Remember, my, pi my picture is very big, so I don't do all the uh, whole picture at once, but you can go section by section. Okay, let me start spraying. Okay, this backing paper it's heat sensitive adhesive. It's not glue, so even if it get wet, it will not stick on the picture until you heat it with an iron. Okay, here is another thing I need to mention. The padding material is very important. Uh, I use four layers of damning cloth to um, to be 
padding material under the picture. The four layers of damning would be perfect. Okay, I set the iron to not very hot. You know, I put it between silk and the wall. So I start from the center of uh, the picture and move up and down. And also to the corner. So just set one side. I'm going to move. I drive the air to one direction, up and down, and uh, to the other side, to end um, mounted side. So I can kind of roll the picture as I proceed. The best thing of this process is that you can actually stop at any moment and come back, continue. Not like um, I, if I apply wet paste, you can imagine how messy that would be if I got a phone call. Uh, I cannot take a phone call if the phone uh, bell rings. But uh, with this dry, uh, dry mounting technique, you can stop at any time and come back to continue. Just take it easy. Make the process much less uh, stressful. I will proceed gradually. I don't need to press too much. All I need to do is um, keep the iron moving, not stop at one spot, so it would uh, get heat evenly. Okay, there's no, uh, again, there's no silicon on this, so I'm not putting a lamination on top of the picture, only, you know, the back. This is the back in between the, the picture and the, the uh, silicone paper, there's the film that stick them together, okay? 